What up, YouTube? Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I want to take a second to say thank you. Thank you for viewing my content. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. And uh, I want to take a second to say thank you on behalf of God for taking the time to sit with spirit. God, your spiritual team, your spiritual team being your angels, your ancestors, and your spirit guides, all want to thank you right now for taking the time out of your day to sit down and hear what spirit has to say. Thank you. Yep. So we have the sun card. Now, it says, I enjoy every moment of my life. And I really, before I even get on anything else, is just what I want to start with. Um, who, who decides, who decides if you enjoy every moment of your life or any moment of your life? Who makes that decision? You do, right? Uh, because you can take a good situation and turn it into a bad situation, turn a bad situation into a good situation. It's called energy transmuting, right? It all has to deal with your perspective, okay? Uh, I still don't agree with the Freemasonry view that the universe is mind, because I feel like the universe is spirit, but I think that I think that there there would be some commonalities there, right? It is it is your perspective, okay? It is how do you view your situation, circumstances, and opportunities, and how do you act on them, right? Uh, what's your perspective? Now, I can tell you that it's a hard thing to do. I ain't got it mastered, but uh, viewing everything in the light, right? Being a, ha uh -huh, well, that's too much. You wouldn't be able to experience the other part of life, right? The idea of life is to give you as much as you can possibly handle for you to be able to grow uh, and, and benefit from this experience. Um, you know, you need, you, you, the overall goal is to master yourself, but you, um, you need to look at the things that are against you and the bad times as blessings. I'll explain to you why. If everything was normal and hunky dory before and you were doing great, right? And nothing would have ever taken you out of that situation. And then all of a sudden, boom, something happens. Well, what, what is that something that happens, right? Um, that's God. Now, God doesn't have to be on one side of the fence or, or the other. God's on both sides of the fence. God is both sides of the fence. Like, that's... It's really what kind of bothered me about the Christian viewpoint, or at least the Christian viewpoint that I took away uh, from Christianity. And that is that God is this old man sitting on a throne. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't think that could be the furthest from the truth. Uh, and I have evidence of it, okay? See, you possess this thing called an imagination, right? And... God has created you a world full of things that you never actually take the time to stop and look at, right? Like if you actually did, you'd think, how does that work, right? And we got all sorts of all sorts of animals, all sorts of species, all sorts of insects, all sorts of, you know, butterflies and worms, and you have all opposite ends of the scale. But God's an old man that sits on a throne, huh? If if God chooses to present God's self that way, then okay, all right, okay. But God is 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 imagination times two, and I put in an earlier video uh, 
called my outer body experience astral travel to God. Um, I had fallen asleep and this, this was a dream. And in my sleep, I woke up and I was uh, encountering beings. And the entire, everything that I could see was white, but it wasn't snow, it was just, it was just white. It wasn't warm or cold, it, it was just white. And um, everything was, how do I put that? Like, you know how you warm the faucet to lukewarm, and then there's just that temperature above it that's just right. Feels good on your hands when you wash your hands. Um, it was that. It, that's what everything was. The white was peaceful. The temperature was peaceful. And uh, everything looked curved in around me, right? Um, like my perspective was here, but that I could see here. And I knew that the curving upwards was, uh, probably my own perception. It might have curved upwards, but probably my own per perception or perspective because the entire experience allowed me to understand that I was able to perceive beyond what I could perceive twice, okay? And the beings that I encountered over there God has created everything that you can imagine beyond your perspective at least twice a bunch of times. Okay, so for you to catch up where where God is, okay, would be be beyond your comfort zone twice. Do you understand? Um, and a thousand or more fold, right? God is pure imagination. To think that God resembles a, you know, not shout out to Morgan Freeman. Nothing bad. Uh, to, to think that God resembles Morgan Freeman, right? A human being with two arms, two legs, and, you know, a fuzzy beard, right? Uh, maybe, if that's how God chooses to express God's self. But, uh, you know, in the Hindu faith, they say that God stands for something, and that is G-O-D. So, generator, operator, and destroyer. Okay. Can you can you concept that? Right. Uh the beings that I encountered so you know how in in the Vedic uh, Hindu faith uh the gods ha have multi arms and they have abilities so like they hold certain uh mudras with their hands, okay? Uh, for protection and for grace and for giving. And, and they also, while doing that, hold weapons, right? So, like, how does that work? Well, they're multifaceted. And I'm telling you that the beings that I encountered were multifaceted twice beyond my perspective, okay? Like, it... I was encountering some cool stuff and uh, one of the things that uh, I was allowed was uh, I was led by the hand by one of these in crazily crazy intense beings over to a waterfall and uh, there was a spot to lay down in it and it, it, it had um, what looked like water and when you laid back in it, it was that lukewarm. I'm talking about that just just above. Everything was just, um, 
I don't want to say indulging, but every everything was um, something to be soaked up. Everything was nourishing. And there was a spot to lay back underneath this waterfall where you could lay your head right under the water. And I was like, what? And she said, lay, lay back, right? This, this multifaceted being was feminine and, and she was gorgeous. And she said, lay back. And so I laid my head back and I realized that now it might've been water, but it was smoke and I breathed it in. And that's what that spot was meant for, was for, was, was specifically built for a person to lay there and rest their head and breathe in that smoke and just relax, right? Um, and uh, it was, everything was so nourishing to intensity, like to the intensity that I could withstand. And apparently in that moment, I could withstand twice beyond my current perspective, okay? And uh, it was beautiful, okay? But to say that God is only two arms, two legs, sure, God could become a being, okay? But um, as far as if God became a being, you understand the, the magnitude and the, the source that is God would still have to be something else. Like, like God is, God is bigger. Okay. So, um, what I'm, what I'm getting to here is that, uh, God is multifaceted. That's, that's why I'm not racist. Okay. And that's why I'm not religious. I'm, I'm, I'm spiritual. Okay. God is, God is, holy cow, right? Like, like just twice beyond your current perspective. Okay. That doesn't fit on a TV screen. Sorry. It doesn't work. Okay. And I really don't think it can be written in a book, right? That's why I think that since the creatures that I, the beings that I encountered uh, were so multifaceted and every type of creature you could imagine so so if we don't encounter aliens here in this lifetime if they don't finally come down and we get to like meet and greet and smoke a bowl and say hey how you doing uh if that don't happen then uh it doesn't matter because when you die you're you're in the same place as them and and they're there and we should hope that the aliens that we've encountered really are just two arms, two legs, and might be reptilian and all this stuff. That's that's cool with me. Uh, if you saw what I saw, there would be no arguing with one of them. I don't know if there'd be a need for argument or if you would just fall on your face. They, they were brilliant beings. And so God is good, but God, God is imagination beyond your perspective, the furthest reaches of your imagination, twice, and has done so thousands of times, okay? Um, God is pure expression of creativity. And there's just, can you... Can you write me a book on that? Like, can you can you explain what pure expression of, of creativity is? Can you can you fully explain the imagination? Why we have it? It's because God's in all of us, right? There, there's there's all your proof for you. But um today's card, we have the sun. And it says, I enjoy every moment of my life. And I say to you that each and every day is an expression of God, okay? God come to me and God told me that uh, God is a dealer of circumstance, okay? You have free will. You have the right to choose your own choices, but your choices are, are handed to you. Your choices are dealt to you, okay? 
Okay. Even if you guys struggle to get them, it's still part of the choice. And you understand what I'm saying? God is a dealer of circumstance. Okay. You get the free will. You you want to call this a video game? Let's call this a video game. You playing a game. You and God. Your circumstance versus your free will. Okay. It's just God is everything. Okay. And so this says happiness, triumph, festivity, optimism, success, vitality, fun, and truth. Now, I'm going to focus on the fact that it says truth real fast because if it was dark right now and I crank up my Jeep and I turn on my headlights, I have LED headlights right there. I think they're 30,000 lumens a piece. Um, it doesn't matter how dark it is outside. If I turn them bad boys on, I'm going to be able to see everything. So, uh, whereas there's a reach or a limit to how far my headlights project light, there's, and there's a reach and limit to how far the sun projects light, but it is so far beyond you that you have no real reason to worry about it, right? Um, I'm just like ants worshiping the sun every day when it comes up, if they have a religious system. What do they, what do they think? Like that the sun is, right? Or do they just simply have the wisdom to not concern themselves with it and be grateful for it, right? And... I think that that might be what it is. Maybe, maybe you are. You see this this little boy on this horse. He's he's having himself a great time. Okay, uh, the sun's in the background. There's sunflowers everywhere. Uh, life is good, right? A little like there might be some sort of like a dragon's tail. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Uh, but happiness, triumph, festivity, optimism, success, vitality, and fun and truth. If you If you address each day as addressing God, okay, and here's what I mean by that. If a, uh, if a person encounters you and they say anything to you, well, that's, that's, that's their free will, okay? But the fact that they encountered you in the first place is God. Right. So God places that person there. Right. Through circumstance. Right. And you, you having your own free will. OK. So that you can encounter that person. That person either say something messed up or that person to say something nice and like, you know, nice shoes. or like your hair or something like that. Right. Um, so. If we take this a step further we realize that like I say in God is all things because God's magnificently beyond my perspective in magnitudes okay um, however God chooses to speak to me and, and I'm so grateful I'd be going absolutely nuts right now if I didn't have that okay because I I would I enjoy sitting with myself, but because that's when God comes through more clearly. I don't know if that makes any sense to you. Um, it's what makes doing tarot readings fun. It's because uh, I get to take the conversation a step further. That's, that's, that's how that works. Um, but you, you need to do that which is fun to you. And the way that you will know if it's something that is... What you need to do that involves fun is if it's truthful. Now, there's lots of things that are fun because we've all we've all been on the dark side one way or another at some point. Uh, no matter how far, no matter how deep, we, we've all we've all been there. And uh, sometimes we find it fun to not good not not do very good things, right? Sometimes. Uh, beating somebody out of a position or uh overcoming something by way of cheating 
right? So, uh, you know, to me, that's even as far as, um, so when I see a person, I can see their strengths and I can also see their weaknesses. I don't give an ever loving crap about the weaknesses. I care about the strengths. And if I reach into your life, uh, I hope that I do so in a way that strengthens you and that grows you and that nourishes you. That's what I care about. That's, that's, that's what I care about. And, um, I'm sweat. That's what, that's what I want to be here to do. Uh, I enjoy it. I was a zone manager and I really enjoyed that. I loved, loved, loved taking people that nobody would deal with, helping them to adult. Uh, by just simply finding their strengths and focusing on them and I enjoyed that that was that was that was good that was good I get to take that with me that, that was that was I'm glad about that and I didn't change either a lot of people they'll become managers or bosses or whatever and now suddenly their shit don't stink and they got their nose up in the I know I was the same dude going in as I went, walked out. I'm telling you that the zone manager at one point in time of a certain place uh, was, was the guy who was originally the guy who was out in the parking lot smoking fucking cigarettes and weed and causing mayhem, right? I did the same thing all the way up to the top. And I was still out in the parking lot smoking weed and causing mayhem at the top. That's just, I never changed, right? And I'm, I'm so, I'm so glad about that. And, but the way that you'll know that this one is the one that you're supposed to go for is because it'll be in truth, okay? Uh, I feel so blessed to have this time to be able to just sit in front of the camera, like, and I feel blessed that I'm strong enough to not be sitting here and be reaching for booze and not be fucking trying to mess up my life, what I have of it, right? No, I'm gonna do the very best with what I have each and every day. And my friends, that that is that is how you have fun. That is how even in the face of adversity, you're still having a good time. It doesn't matter. It's okay. Somebody changed the TV station. This is where I'm at now. What I gotta do to make it, right? And how the hell do I have fun, right? And uh, so it looks like you're already standing in truth. And it looks like you need to focus on the fact that <laughs> God is in magnitudes, right? Um, and that today, today can be a good day. Today or the next minute or the next second could be the opportunity of your lifetime. Are you dealing with it as though God is the dealer in circumstances? Are you hand... Are, are, if you if you actually stopped and thought about the fact that God is view, just like you're viewing me on a camera right now, right? God is viewing you in magnitudes more than what you can view me on a camera, right? And uh, knows your thoughts, knows all that, okay? Created you, all right? So do you address your circumstances and situations as though you are addressing God? Do you do that? And if you do, can you still live in faith? Uh, because if you can't, then the answer is you need to do your, your inner work and you need to heal, not in order to have faith. Faith will come, right? It doesn't matter. Once you, once you heal these things, faith is, is there. Once you get over it, check this out, right? Let, let, let's, let's just put it into a box real fast. Your big, bad, ugly that happened to you whenever, that's the, like the main thing. You might have several of them, but like, but if you had to really just pick one that you could just get rid of, right? The main thing that you would, that you would get rid of, right? The, the main thing that, that bothers you, okay? It was a blessing. 
okay? It made you who you are, okay? You were strong enough to handle it, and you were you are strong enough to grow from it. Now, if you don't choose to do that growing, then that's you're not gonna get nowhere. But God is in magnitudes, okay? So your biggest, baddest is zilch for God to sweep away, okay? And the truth of the matter is, is that you should forgive anything negative because because as I've already said, the only thing you leave behind is your positive. Your negative is here for a little bit, but it fades away. Just like uh, getting hit with a baseball bat, it hurts for a little bit, right? But it fades away, right? And then you got bruises. And then, you know, after that you heal, okay? Um, you can have the best day in the world, okay? Viewing everything. And it's, Really, I'm really I'm serious viewing everything from the perspective that um, that God has your back and God is dealing you through these circumstances because you can make it okay the question about your big bad ugly is did you have faith right and I understand some people did have faith and, and still went through bad things but if you have faith if you had faith and still have faith, it don't matter. And then you know what your work to do is, is to face yourself so that you can heal from these things, uh, to strengthen your faith, and then forgive those people. Rather they forgive you or rather they're sorry, it doesn't matter. That's your sovereign power, okay? So at the end of the day, if if, if you if you st stuck with me so far and you're with me to, to hear and you understand what I'm saying to you, this sovereign power is what I just taught you about, okay? Um, when you sit there from that perspective of being able to be in faith and having let go and forgiven everybody that needed to be let go and forgiven, um, you sit in a place somewhere much higher, okay, uh, because of your perspective. Right? Perspective is key, but because of your perspective, okay, you have to grow your perspective, and that, that's how you do it. But if you grow your perspective, you're going to end up finding yourself happy and free, just like this little boy, all right? So I love y'all. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.